Hey guys, I only got a little bit here out in the garage and I'm gonna make this really quick. I'm upgrading my S10 from the stock front sway bar to a ZQ8 sway bar from a 2000 Extreme. I found it at the local U-Pull yard and I got it wire wheeled, undercoated and painted and I'm gonna show that here in a second. All right, I already got the old one out. It was really quick to do. You just kind of take off your sway bar end links, which I replaced as long as I was going through the full suspension. And the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold on your bushings. And looking at it, the two, there's a big difference. The factory one is only one inch in diameter. The ZQ8 from the extreme is an inch 300 thou. So you're going to have 30% increase across the board as far as everything that your sway bar does and i'm excited because especially with the v8 you got all that extra added weight and you know i upgraded to a lot lower suspension and it's got stiffer coils on it and it's all new so i'm really excited to put this in but that is pretty much what the difference is between your factory sway bar and a zq8 sway bar along with the zq8 suspension you have the rear sway bar that goes around the rear diff and it just has the u-bolts that bolt onto the the axle tubes and then that's what bolts onto your bushings and then up top that just kind of mounts up by your shock area up there i don't know if this is going to fit yet because i did switch over to a blazer tank behind the axle kind of help distribute weight a little bit farther back and it's in the middle so it should be more centered that's why i did the blazer tank i know it's a little more dangerous because you get rear-ended hard enough you know you know i think it was pintos that had that where the tank would explode but yeah that's why i didn't clean that one up because i want to make sure that's going to fit before i put the time and effort into it but that is the main difference between your stock sway bar and the zq8 performance sway bar at the U-Pull, that cost me about $30, and that's a huge gain for $30, in my opinion. I'm sure you can find it online, but it's going to be a lot more expensive, and why buy new if used is good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not very information, but I'm trying to, trying to keep you guys updated on everything, too. So, I hope you liked it. All right, we'll catch you next time.